Hi, I'm Jervis from Add-on Systems, and we have with us Hallo from Sophos to share insights about XDR, as known as Extended Detection and Response, a common term that is frequently used in cybersecurity. Hi, Hallo. Hey. I'm hearing a lot about the need for detection and response in cybersecurity. Can you help me to understand what is it? Of course. And I'll take a step away from cybersecurity to begin with. But back in 2015, there was a very famous robbery of a safety deposit vault in London's Hatton Gardens. There's actually been a film made about it starring Michael Caine. And this robbery was done by thieves in their 70s and 80s with a combined age of 442, and they managed to steal $25 million. This was a very secure bank vault, thick doors that needed multiple people's biometrics, half a meter wide concrete walls, the attack took months to plan and a full weekend to execute, where they, they arrived dressed as gas engineers. Ab sailed down a lift shaft, took days to drill through the concrete walls, and finally broke into 70 safety deposit boxes and took away the contents in dustbins. Now, the moral of this tale is, even if you have the absolute best security to prevent an attack, you must assume somebody will breach it. This is where detection and response is needed to notice an attack is underway and prevent them achieving their objective. In that case, it was stealing jewels. In the cybersecurity world, it's typically data theft or ransomware. The clues are there. XDR helps you find them. So what is XDR? Ah. So I'm going to answer that one initial at a time, but out of sequence. So D is for detection to help you identify a cybersecurity event has happened. Response is now with that information about what has happened, take the appropriate response to that event. I'll come back to X, and that's for extended. Originally, there was EDR, endpoint detection and response. That took information gathered from your endpoints, your, your servers, your PCs, your Macs, but it only gave you so much context. X extended means it's now pulling that information from other aspects of your environment, your firewall, your email gateway. Pulling all that together gives you a much wider context in what's going on. And this helps you before an incident, identify weaknesses in your security, during, so you can spot the early clues of an attack is underway, and also after, learning how did an attack happen so you can strengthen your defences so it doesn't happen again. So, is it another name for SIEM? It's not, but it's an area that causes a lot of confusion. SIEM, or Security Information and Event Management, is a very good tool to have that collects logs from a wide range of security products you'll have within your environment. It gives you a very wide, but a shallow view of what's going on. If we go back to the robbery analogy, SIEM is the equivalent of seeing that a sensor monitor has gone off and there's somebody in the building. Whereas XDR is the equivalent of having CCTV, so you could see how many people are there. Are they carrying equipment for the robbery? Are they armed? How far have they got through the, through the robbery? Altogether, this gives you a much better context and allows you to decide what is the most appropriate response I need to come back with to prevent them achieving their goals. So how can Sophos help with XDR? So Sophos XDR, um, it's available to all of our customers and it's just an extension to our InterceptX agent. Now, what it does, it pulls information not just from the Sophos InterceptX agent, but from the Sophos firewall, Sophos mobile, um, public cloud, Sophos email gateway, pulls all that information together, but it puts it into a data lake, a shared repository of information from all these different sources, correlates it and gives you that full context and helps guide you what is the appropriate response to what we're seeing going on. So what does Annalise says about Sophos XDR? Annalise has been extremely complimentary. And so Gartner said, Sophos continues to lead the market with its XDR capabilities between the firewall and the endpoint. Now that's a great endorsement. And Gartner are very specific on what makes an XDR solution. And they've got three requirements. Number one is centralization of normalized data. 
That's exactly what we're doing, pulling the information from the multiple sources into the SOPOS data lake centrally. Number two, correlation of security data into incidents. That is what's going on within the SOPOS data lake, when we take the feeds from the firewall, the endpoint, the email gateway, the mobile devices, and correlate and see between all of these, what is actually going on? And the third part is centralized incident response capability that change the state of individual security products. This is what SOFOS Synchronized Security has been doing for many years, where we can see a threat in one product and another product can take automatically change its response to minimize the threat of that, that attack. It sounds like a great solution, but my IT and security teams are already overloaded. That's a very good point and one I've heard a lot. I've got huge admiration for the IT security guys on the front line against the, in the battle against the cyber criminals. They, they are you know, often wearing many hats doing IT, security. The last thing they want is to make their life even busier. The good news is Sophos XDR actually reduces their workload. It allows them to improve their security without having to add headcount. Sophos wrote a white paper and what we saw was organizations that moved to Sophos actually reduced the amount of time they had to spend on IT security management by 50%. So there are massive savings to be made in terms of the effort needed. So this really does help improve security without having to add headcount. So does XDR replaces my endpoint protection like uh, Sophos Intercept X? No, it doesn't. It actually complements it. Um, one thing I discuss many times with organizations is a cybersecurity framework. And the one used most, most around the world is NIST, N-I-S-T. That has five core functions. The middle three of those are protect, detect, and respond. The likes of Sophos Intercept X, but also Sophos Firewall, all of our products provide protection. And we, we've just been awarded SE Labs leader status for enterprise, SMB, and home users when it comes to endpoint uh, protect, protection. But just as we saw in the robbery example, just relying on protection is not enough. You will find that you will get breached at some point. It's just the reality of the world. That's where detection and response are needed. To identify as early as possible, there's an attack going on, to buy you the time that you can put the right response in to contain, neutralize, and also re remediate anything that's happened. So tell me, did the Hatton Garden robbers got caught eventually? Yeah, they did. Um, they, they actually were caught through a very silly mistake. The getaway driver used a car he'd registered to himself. So just by looking at the CCTV, they could see his registration plate, find his address, and from that they managed to track down the gang. You can call this almost post-incident detection and response by looking through that video surveillance. The gang was sent to jail, about 30% of the stolen property was returned to their owners, but much of it had already been damaged. So the moral from it is, if the detection and the response at the security vault had been stronger, they could have made sure that they stopped the attack before all that jewels were stolen. Well, thank you, Howell, for sharing with us such informative insights. And if you would like to learn more about this topic, do contact us with the link provided in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to us for more informative content. Thanks for watching once again. We'll see you again.